inside. Find your way inside. See how quickly you can do that after these weeks of work. Can you do that with just an exhale, a gentle exhale through your nose? Congratulations with sticking with this, really impressive. Swallow gently. And hopefully everyone did their homework a little bit yesterday with checking in and seeing how quickly they could find their way inside. These tools are cumulative and as you practice, you'll get better and better at that. Most people, you'll see many people do it and they don't even know they're doing it. They do it with a sigh, with a long exhale. So you'll see someone sit down on a chair and they do it with it. They take a long exhale and they go, ah. Well, it's the same thing. It's just that what we're doing is a little more intentional. We're using a few more extra tools, but it's exactly the same thing. You're getting into parasympathetic tone. You're getting calm and centered. And you're relaxing, softening your muscles, taking a little rest, work and rest. That's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna rest, we're gonna work, and then we're gonna rest again. And then you're gonna go back to work. Unless you're taking the day off. Deepen your breath. So your chest expanding and contracting. Someone sent me their blood pressure yesterday, a blood pressure measurement at the beginning of class and the blood pressure measurement at the end of class. And it was a significant decrease. It was really nice, thank you. Drop your jaw. Do a quick relaxation here. Separate your back molars. Find some space between them. Bring your fingertips up to your jaw and just hang them off your jaw. And remember when um, we did alligator jaw or puppet jaw, I'd like you to do puppet jaw now. This is a slightly different way. Bring your fingertips to your lower jaw and as you exhale, drop your jaw in puppet jaw as if there's a big sandwich going in your mouth. So inhale. Exhale, drop your jaw. You can help it down with your fingers. As if your face is made of silly putty. You know that painting the scream? You imagine that the bottom of your chin or your face is like that. It's like a silly putty, like you're stretching it out. Take a big inhale. Exhale, lean your fingertips in and exhale down. Open your jaw until you feel a real tugging back here. Sometimes we do this with a thumb in our jaw like this, but because of COVID, we won't do that today. It's an easier way or a more hygienic way is just to grab the top of your bottom teeth. Big inhale, exhale. Drop it as far as you can until you feel big stretch along the sides, around your ears, down to your jaw. One more with your fingertips. Release your hands to your leg. And now imagine that your jaw is heavy. It's made of lead. Same thing. Exhale, drop your jaw. Big inhale. Heavy jaw. Let it drop down. One more time. And remember that at the beginning, especially, it feels like you're dislocating your jaw. At the end, you can do alligator, where you open up like this, 
But at first you want to open up like this. Big inhale. Drop your heavy jaw. You can push your jaw forward if that helps. Keep your jaw down now. And take a few neck stretches side to side. Keep your breath long as you do this. You may notice saliva production. Come back to center, close your mouth. Take a deep inhale. Take three little sips here. We did this yesterday, really inflating your rib cage and then exhale, drop your jaw. Big inhale, inflate. Exhale, drop your jaw, relax your body. Last one, big inhale, three sips at the top. And exhale, drop your jaw. Take a couple of circles with your jaw. We did this about a week ago, I think, or maybe two weeks ago. Take a few circles. You keep your jaw parallel to the floor. As if it's like a record going around. What's a record? CD? And rotate the other way. You hear lots of popping and cracking. And now big inhale, drop your jaw. Exhale, drop in. Big inhale for lion's breath. Stick your tongue out. Stick your tongue as far as you can go. You get the same sensation as you do in your jaw. Big inhale. Exhale, lion's breath. You're gonna have pause too. There are a few things that I like as much as seeing a lot of people do lion's breath at me on my iPad. Big inhale. Two more because that's so awesome. Exhale. Last one. Cross your eyes if you can. Look at your nose. Beautiful. Inhale. Soften your jaw. Take a few little massages of your jaw. If you have an essential oil nearby, you can rub that on your jaw, on your neck. And then begin your tapping. Tap your, the sides of your neck. Vagus nerve. Tap your jaw. Use this as a cue to get really soft as you tap. Lift up, you can tap your chin. This is super good for loose skin, wrinkles, not to mention all the things that are down deeper, another layer underneath. Vagus nerve, trachea, esophagus back there, thyroid, all the muscles. Now let's continue with our head. Well, let's actually thump out our chest a little bit first. Really thump like Tarzan. If you want to make some sounds, you can. Uh... 
And let's continue on with our heads. Interlace your fingers at the back of your head. And inhale your chin slightly towards the ceiling. Lean your head into your hands. Lift your elbows. Lift, pull on your neck. It's not dangerous to pull on your neck this way. You can't make enough force on your hands. Even if you pretend that the Jolly Green Giant, as I say often, is lifting your elbows, pretty much impossible to do any damage to your neck here. And it feels really good. It feels especially good with a dowel behind your head, but we don't have that today. That's for another day in a class. Take a few breaths here, feeling that length in your spine, all the activity in the muscles of your torso. Last one. And take a little forward fold here. Just come forward, legs can be crossed or extended or sitting on the couch, whatever you like, just warming up the muscles of your back. And then come back up, take that same hand position. We're gonna do Sufi grind here today, something different. If you don't wanna have your hands behind your head, if that's too tiring, you can, fingers can be on your shoulders or your hands can be just on your knees like normal Sufi grind. It's way more tiring to have your hands on your head, but it also gives you this element of traction. So Sufi got grind with an emphasis in your ribs. So ribs are moving around, a big heavy head of yours is being supported by your hands. You can't go as fast, and you probably can't go as big, but you get even more benefit out of it. You're probably feeling it's slightly different in your rib cage, and you can still do your breath. I like to inhale forward and exhale back. A few more, close your eyes. Bring your emphasis and your awareness into your rib cage and notice how this feels different from our usual Sufi grind. Come back to center. You guys have been doing this long enough. You have some embodied memory of these poses. Come back to center, shake everything out. Shake your shoulders. Do you remember what direction you went in? Inhale your hands behind your head, lift your elbows to the sky and go in the opposite direction. And remember the important thing here are the elbows high. Lean your head into your hands. It changes the feeling completely, brings it into the sensation around your diaphragm, the low rib, the last rib that you have in the front where your diaphragm attaches. And you get a lot more sensation around there. This is increasing lung capacity, even if you can only do it small here, still increasing lung capacity as you breathe big. So maybe circle small, but breathe big. Last one, maybe two, let's try to make it even. Come back to center. You can keep your hands here if they're not tired. If they're tired, take a break, just like we did before. And then bring your hands back. And then we're gonna do this little snail. It's seated cat cow, but it's kind of a snail. So you bring your elbows together and then you open them wide and bring them together. Notice how it changes, open them wide and up. Feel all the fascia across your chest stretching hugging, softening, and warming. For your last two, something a little different for cat cow today. Really good for the breath, really good for the singing voice. Last one, close up like a snail. And then release, shake your head, shake your arms, shake your torso. And let's go into regular Sufi grind, see if it feels different. So now we're using our arms on our knees to see how it feels different.
switch directions. Maybe you can go a little bigger now because you've got your arms on your knees. You can find your way into those little corners of the range of your motion. How far can you go feeling a tugging in your own body, not in your body? And that's one of the great things actually about digital classes. We aren't surrounded by people and so we can't compare. I think it really brings us into our own bodies. And if you have trouble with that, close your eyes. And also if you go back to public classes and you have trouble with that, close your eyes. If your teacher is clear enough, you should be able to practice with your eyes closed. Last one. And let's go into regular cat-cow here. Inhale forward. Use your hands. You can't see my knees, but my hands are big on my knees and I'm pulling my chest forward. Pulling my shoulder blades together for, the, for cow. And then I'm exhaling, curling, pulling my chin down into my chest for a cat. And taking that a couple of times and just noticing how it feels different. Last one, biggest one so far. Maybe the biggest one you've ever done. Use your breath to help you make it the biggest one you've ever done. And then exhale, biggest cat you've ever done. Exhale fully. And I'm going to slowly move back to the couch. Please come to neutral. And we'll go straight into our sun salutes. If you'd like to come to standing, push your way up to standing. If you're seated, settle your feet on the ground. If you've been doing this a while and you feel like you can handle it, straighten out your knees, flex your feet. A little tiny bend in my knees here, but not much. I'll do the first one with my knees bent. Inhale overhead. Enjoy the process. Enjoy the process of moving your body. Exhale full. And you don't have to do it on my breath. You can do it on your own breath. If you want to move together, you can over the days. Get good at it. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, right knee in. Exhale, curl. Inhale, squeeze your knee. Exhale, neutral, downward facing dog. Remember that really big cat, uh, cow pose? Grab your knees, see how spread apart my fingers are? And inhale forward. Exhale, big huge cat, downward facing dog if you're standing. Inhale, right foot back into a lunge or left knee in. Squeeze it and then exhale, curl. Inhale, long spine, squeeze your shin. And we're gonna forward fold. I'm straightening out my legs to get more sensation here. Swan dive. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, swan dive again. Inhale up. Exhale, neutral. Here we go, shoulders come down on that exhale. Inhale, shoulders can go up here, reach for the sky. Exhale, swan dive forward. All the fascia of the body moving in this motion. Inhale, long spine. Your fascia, your outside fascia, it's like a bodysuit. Exhale, fold. Just under your skin and your fat. Inhale your left knee in and squeeze it up. Exhale, curl. Big inhale, straight spine. Exhale, neutral. Prepare for up dog. If you're doing the standing version, inhale, up dog, cow pose. Exhale. Down dog, cat pose. 
Step forward with your left leg if you're standing. Otherwise, squeeze your right knee in. Exhale, fold. Feel that all the way along your back line. Inhale, tall. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hinge your hips. Use your belly muscles. Use your back muscles. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up. Press your heels or your feet into the floor. Inhale, up. Exhale, neutral. One more time. I'll do this one standing because I think everybody knows how to do it pretty well by now. Seated. Inhale, overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, right knee, right foot goes back. Right knee comes in. Take a big inhale. Exhale, forehead to knee if you're seated. Big inhale. Exhale, release your knee, downward facing dog if you're standing. Inhale, ripple forward, up dog. Cow pose if you're seated. Exhale, cat pose if you're seated. Downward facing dog if you're standing. This is where it's different. Inhale your right foot forward if you're standing or your left knee in if you're seated. And then exhale down. Take a big inhale. Take an extra exhale here. Squeeze. Inhale, step forward if you're standing. Otherwise, forward fold if you're seated. Half lift, push on your legs, lengthen your spine, crown of your head comes towards me. Exhale, fold. Big, huge, reverse swan dive. Watch your ceiling fixtures. I have one behind me. And exhale, Tadasana. Mountain pose. Now we do the other side. On the other side, the left leg moves first whether you're seated or standing. Inhale overhead, lift your arms to the ceiling, lift your shoulder blades. You can really take a bit, you can take a couple of breaths here if you like. And then when you get to your next exhale, swan dive, big, huge, full body movement. Inhale, half lift. Now our left leg is coming up or back into a lunge. Take a deep inhale and a deep exhale. Curl your forehead into your knee if you're seated. Big inhale. Neutral pose seated, downward facing dog if you're standing. Ripple forward, upward facing dog or cow pose. Exhale, downward facing dog, cat pose. Left foot comes forward. If you're seated, right knee comes in and then exhale down. Take a big inhale, straighten your spine. Exhale, curl up or drop into your lunge. forward or release into a forward fold. Take a big inhale, half lift. And a big exhale. And an inhale, scoop your way up. Exhale, neutral, take a break, rest. Let your breath come back to normal. Let's 
extend your right leg in front of you. If you're standing, you're just in a forward fold. Just come forward into a forward fold. Bend your left knee, straighten your right knee. Bring your body over your straight, sorry, whatever knee is straight. Bring your body over that knee. If you're seated, that's your right leg. Take a few breaths here. Now, if you're standing, of course, you're welcome to bend one knee and bend the other. It can sometimes be really nice on your hips. Otherwise, just grab onto your leg and pull your upper body towards it. Wherever you're grabbing on in your legs, totally fine, whether it's the thigh, the knee, the calf, or your foot. Take one more breath cycle. Notice tugging all along the back line of your leg, your straight leg. Now, if you're seated, bend your right, extend your left, bring your body down to your left. If you're standing, just bend the other leg and pull your body towards it. Soften your belly. Deepen your exhale. Feel the tugging in the fascia of your legs. One more breath cycle. Reverse swan dive, come up to neutral. Find mountain pose or neutral. We're going to step out into goddess, whether you're on your chair, whether you're standing. If you're seated, you can just take a butterfly pose. Inhale your arms up to goddess pose. And now we've been doing this where we inhale, push into the floor with our feet and exhale down. We're going to do this a little differently today. This is what it looks like standing, what we used to do. What I'd like to do now is lift your arms, but keep them parallel to the floor. So we're lifting shoulder blades. It's a difficult movement. I'm going to show you from the back. It looks like this. So I'm moving, trying not to move my elbows too much. Everything's staying parallel to the floor. I'm raising my shoulders to my ears, and then I'm pushing down. So you know that move that we do here, moving our shoulder blades? That's what we're doing on both sides. Inhale your shoulder blades up as high as you can, and then exhale them down towards your jeans pocket. And this is what it looks like. Spread your fingers wide. Make your forearms, or sorry, your upper arms parallel to the couch or the floor. And inhale up, push with your feet a little bit. Watch your elbows so your elbows don't come up like this. It's entirely, your, these, this part of your arm stays parallel to the couch or the floor. And down. It's a lot of work for the muscles underneath your shoulder blades. Movement is small. Lift your shoulders to your ears. Keep your elbows parallel to the floor. Exhale down. We're only going to do two more because this is new and it's tricky. One more. Inhale up. It's like you're shrugging your shoulders. And then exhale, wrap your right arm in front of you. So you see what we're doing here, we're taking a counter pose. So here we're using, this is called the rhomboid muscle here, just inside your shoulder blade. And here we were using it, and now we're stretching it. So stretch it on both sides. And then, yes, we're going to use it again, both sides. Here we go. Now we're going to take goddess again. And then we're going to do our dipping shoulder routine. Remember how we dip one shoulder and then the other. So now we're stretching out all the muscles of the rotator cuff. We're stretching across the big muscles of your back. Inhale up. Exhale down. Use your breath. This is how you get double duty out of yoga. Big article in the New York Times today about how we all need to be doing yoga. There was a five minute sequence. Dudes, you are doing so much more than a five minute sequence. 
couple more, but we need to be using the breath. Yoga without the breath is just gymnastics. And not even very good gymnastics. <laughs> Last breath. Come back to center. Keep your hands on your knees or your thighs. And then shrug your shoulders into that emergency position. And then exhale them way down. That's the same movement we were doing here, remember? But it's just your shoulders this time. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. Exhale down. And now bring your hands to your bum and inhale your chest to the ceiling. Bring your shoulder blades towards each other. If you'd like, you can, inhale, you can interlace your fingers behind your back and lift your elbows. The other option is this. If you can't interlace or if you don't want to grab, you can also grab opposite elbows. Or hands on bum. Lift your chest. Lift, lift, lift. Pull your shoulder blades together as if you're sliding a credit card in between them. Take one more breath. Forward fold. Extend your legs. Slide forward, forward fold. Can you feel how the fascia between your shoulder blades is extending now? This is a counter pose. We're pulling the muscles tightly together and then we're exhaling, we're extending them. So we're juicing them up, we're moving and sliding. Let's do it one more time. Come back up to whatever pose you have. This time I'll interlace my fingers. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Last breath. And forward fold. Take one more breath. Relax your shoulder girdle, make it soft. Last pose. We're gonna come up, find wherever you can behind you on the couch or the floor. We've done this before. If you wanna come off your couch, you can. It's like a reverse puppy dog. You can kind of put your hands up on the couch and walk forward. If you're on the ground, and look like this. Move your bum away from your hands. Crawl your pinkies together. Take a few breaths. And if you're on the couch, it looks like this. My hands are on the back of my couch. And I'm lifting my chest. Lift your chest as much as you can. Your hands can also be just be on the back of your chair. Lift your chest and then to find some more tugging, you can move forward. Move your hands closer together, move a little bit forward until you find that perfect Goldilocks spot where you feel this tugging across your chest and this squeezing between your shoulder blades. Last two breaths. Make these breaths count. Every time you use that big breath, you expand the fascia of your chest. Here we go, last forward fold. Make it beautiful and feel delicious. Waterfall forward. Do you notice tingling in and around your shoulders here, around your shoulder blades, front of your rotator cuffs, shoulder muscles? Shoulder joints here are being fed with synovial fluid with all of the squeezing and soaking action. One more breath. If you're seated, or if you're on the floor, I mean, you might wanna come back up to standing. If you wanna do this vigorous pose, we're gonna come into eagle pose. If you're seated, you can just cross your right leg over your left. You can even Extend that left leg and catch your toe underneath if you like. And then inhale your arms overhead. Scoop your right arm under your left. Take your time with this. Do it nice and slow. Wrap your hands. If you can touch palms, touch palms. If you can touch the back of your hands, do that. 
you can grab your shoulders in a big hug, do that. And if you're standing, I wonder if I can stand up without undoing my legs. Ha, ah, I can. Ah. <laughs> Two more breaths. Eagle pose. This is the pose that compresses most joints, I think, in all of yoga. All the yoga poses compresses almost every joint in your body. And then we're going to take a forward fold. So uncurl your legs, extend them in front of you if you're on the couch, uncurl your arms, and then eagle your arms forward like big flapping eagle wings. Exhale forward. Release your head and take one deep inhale, exhale. Get very soft on that exhale. Work and rest. That was rest. We're back to work. Come back up. Scooch your left leg over top of your right. Take that tuck if you like. Inhale your arms overhead. And take your left arm under your right in whatever way works. Three variations I showed last time. This is a delicious variation, especially if you're standing. Sometimes it's a bit much to do the legs. I like the fact that I can get up off the couch. <laughs> Hard though, especially if you're standing. <laughs> this is a delicious, delicious variation. Squeeze hard. And remember, we're coming into a forward fold on the exhale when we release. So begin to uncurl your legs, extend them in front of you. And you don't have to do the legs, you can just do the arms. Extend them in front of you, unfurl your arms like eagle wings. And then exhale, forward fold. And in this forward fold, this is a rest. Inhale, exhale, everything is soft. Soft, melt into the couch, melt into the floor, wherever you are, get really soft. Yoga teaches us to take really quick breaks. And these breaks are super important because they allow our tissues to soften and more stuff, more good stuff comes into the tissues. We can't just be um, energized all the time. It has to be work and rest. Come back up to neutral, please. Take a breath in neutral. Lower your shoulders. Soften your breath. Take one more pose today. Let's take a side bend. If you're standing, you can do a regular side bend where you inhale overhead and bend to one side. If you're on the chair, or if you want to take this variation when you're standing, you can drop your arm. If you're on the chair, drop one hand and come over top. And let's take a real thoughtful variation today that takes a bit of effort. Bring your gaze just under your armpit. Look up to the ceiling. And then increase your breath. Remember, we've been breathing into the rib case, into the rib basket here. Increase the breath right here in your top ribs. And do that for two breaths. Really notice those top ribs should have lots of sensation in them. Go a little deeper this time. Go a tiny bit deeper. Here we go. Come up. Use your belly muscles to come up. Energize your abs up and over. Drop that other arm. Find your side bend on the other side. Notice as your arm comes over, it's a big long stretch in the fascia of the side of your body. Extend your fingertips out long as if I'm pulling on them. Peek underneath your arm and take two huge breaths here. If your arm gets tired, you can bring it to your rib cage and breathe into your hands. Back 
back up to center. Our last counter pose, extend your legs in front of you. If you're standing, you can forward fold. Exhale, soften. Take a breath cycle. Reverse swan dive your way up. If you're on the floor, you might want to step back into downward mm -hmm. facing dog, come down into child's pose and work your way towards the floor for Shavasana. If you're in your chair, settle your way back a little bit. Do a tiny bit of breath work here, no matter where you are. Settle your feet on the floor. Remember it's your whole body breathing, not just your lungs. So settle your feet on the floor. If you're in Shavasana, get really soft. Feel everything along your whole length of your body. And then begin to inhale gently through your nose. Keep going, big, huge breath all the way in, all the way up, and then take three sips of air at the top. This is a lot of breath. You have a lot of breath in you. Now take the longest exhale that you possibly can. And the whole time you're exhaling, soften everything as if you're becoming part of the floor or part of the couch. Use that whole exhale. Search your body for any places where there's tension. Where is the tension hiding? Pelvic floor, bridge of the nose, between your eyebrows, toes, fingertips, shoulders, belly, ankles. Return your breath to soft and gentle. And remember that very soft breath where it doesn't even disturb your nostril hair, it's just very soft. Bring your awareness to any parts of your body that are still tingling, maybe your hamstring, your shoulders. And then just let your soft breath spread out over top of that body part, almost like lotion. Notice the beating of your heart. Soften the muscles of your face. Can you come back to this state whenever you want? Body like a soft or rag, balloon full of water, breath like gentle ocean waves. Feel the motion of your hands on your legs as you gently breathe and proceed. Swallow gently. Wake up your eyebrows, lift them a little, wiggle them, your eyes open, bring your breath to your fingertips and your toe tips, give them a little wiggle.
and smile into your cheekbones and into your lips. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining again today. I love everyone's determination. Please keep sending me all your results and all the things that are happening to you that are good. And if there's something that's happening to you that's bad, send that to me too. Thank you so much. I'm going to unmute you. Okay. Unmute yourself. Oh, that one work now? Okay. Thanks, Laura. Thanks, Have a great day, everybody. Bye, right, Nikki. Thank you so much. You're totally you. welcome. Have um, a really great, productive day. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye, Peggy. Bye. Bye, Peggy. Bye, Kara. Bye. 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 Bye, Bye. 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 Thank you, Kara. Yeah, good job. Thank you. Awesome. Rice's show tonight for his birthday. His show? Rice for his birthday today? Oh, that's right. It's his birthday show that's today. His birthday. That's awesome. Yay. Yeah. Okay. okay, we'll be there. Bye. Bye. Bye.